One negative cycle and trap that parents of kids with ADHD often find themselves in is constantly and often unintentionally enabling learned helplessness by constantly doing things for your child that they are capable of doing on their own and rescuing them from discomfort to avoid bigger behaviors and tantrums. We know that ADHD is delayed gratification disorder, and kids with ADHD will often have difficulty persevering through non-instantly gratifying tasks and non-preferred tasks. So these kids often become masters at using emotional manipulation, learned helplessness, noise, complaining, self-defeating talk to get their parents to do things for them. And yes, these are things that all kids do. Kids with ADHD just do them more. This is not a character flaw. Your child is not a bad person. These are not malicious, bad behaviors. This is all part of being a kid and testing limits with parents. Parents tend to realize that when their child is presented with a challenging task, it will increase behaviors, especially in the home, in the presence of parents. So parents end up getting in the habit of rescuing their child from feeling any sort of discomfort. This may be a short-term band-aid and save you from having to deal with a bigger tantrum and bigger dysregulation in the moment, but basically what it's teaching the child is they are not capable of doing things on their own. And with big emotions, big feelings, they can be saved and they can easily avoid non-preferred challenging tasks with basic complaining. Greatest skills you can give a child with ADHD is to develop their frustration tolerance and be able to learn that they can work through problems on their own and persevere through negative feelings and temporary discomfort. We also want these kids to learn that they can manage their own feelings and they can work through this discomfort on their own without adult assistance because this is a necessary life skill that's honestly more important than anything they're going to learn at school. What you want to do as a parent is learn how to fade prompts as quickly as possible. In the beginning, you're probably going to have to do it together with the child, with co-regulation and modeling, and do it directly with them, hand in hand, next to each other. But you want to fade back as quickly as possible, show them how to do it, and then it's their turn to do it. So show them, fade back prompts as quickly as possible, and then they do it independently. Of course, what you want to do here is acknowledge their feelings, but make it an expectation and not a choice. I see you're upset, but you can come to me when you're all done.